jumping right in here, let's say we have a group. The first thing we're going to do, well, you'll open this and it'll be blank. You would go add group. It's going to give you a group. That's how this came in here. We'll just delete that. But you would get your unnamed group, and then you go add people. You'll type in the company email address because you have to use the company one. You can't just throw in random email addresses there and have things kind of all over the place. It's pretty much an internal system. But if you have a fleet of vehicles going around, checking things out, doing other things, could be a nice little system. Could be great to manage, you know, vacations, things like that. And what we'll do now is we can see how we'll type things in. So we have Matthew T here. He's a new hire. So how are we going to add that? How are we going to show his schedule? He'll be doing paperwork all week. We can click here, and we can either type it in, or you can do this, add shift, and you can do all your customization here, unnamed group, because that's the group he's in, the color you want it to be, you have a bunch of options. There's the name, custom label, you could say new hire, lunch break, unpaid break, that'll be 30 minutes, and new hire paperwork. And there you go. Hit save. There it is. Maybe we want to do it all week because that's what I'll be doing. You can either uh, type it in here, type it in here, type it in here. Who wants to do that? Click on it. You can either right click, copy, or you can do click, control C, control V, control V, or you can just highlight wherever you want it, control V. Bang. You got a whole week. Maybe Wednesday's a holiday. Sure. We'll put that in here. You click up here, holiday, and then we will go to, yeah, delete this. You can click on it here with the dots and delete, or just right click, delete, or click it and hit the delete button. That's why that backspace key is awesome. And oops, I messed up. I didn't want to do that. Control Z, undo. It's right back there. Awesome. So what we'd have to do now is we want to be more efficient with this. Maybe he's in another group. We want him in the new hire group, and he's got training. So we want the training group. And we'd also like maybe some vacations. We can worry about all that stuff as we kind of get to it. But let's start back here. What we're going to do is import a schedule from, um, uh, from shifts. What they're going to do is give you a template. You just fill the template out, hit import, and bang. does it all for you. It'll change everything here. It'll coordinate. It'll make sure there's no duplicates. It's awesome. But before we do that, you have to share the calendar. So when you change someone's schedule, either they or everyone has to be notified. Before you save it, they'll find out. And after that, you just move right on over here. Hit these three dots. Then you will go Import Schedule. And you could upload a file if you had one saved already. But I'm just going to go Download Sample because we don't know where we're starting from. And it's going to show up in your Downloads folder. It'll say sample-file, and then a bunch of jumbled letters there. Double-click it. And as you do that, you are going to get something that is very, very similar to this one right here. It's going to have your basic instructions here. You can go through those in your own time, like work emails are required field. Enter shifts in the following time, either military or AM, PM, one of the two. Um, if you're going to create a schedule, da, 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 yeah, change the data before you do it. Definitely, because it will overwrite the old stuff. So make sure you're not duplicating entries. Otherwise, you're going to have some problems. And you can do up to 10,000 of these. And that's, <clears throat> that's just, you can do a whole year. There's no reason someone can't at least go three months out for you just to help you with scheduling. You go here. Each person on that team, every member, is going to have their name here. And this will have to be a company email. They'll usually have a drop down there. And their position, uh, typically everyone on the team will have a drop down um, section. That's right here. So Matthew Todd would have an email. He would have an alias email if the company did that. But <clears throat> we would just select that in this drop down and we'd move on. Then what group they're in, the shift start date, shift start time, end date. And remember, we want to just do one day at a time in each row. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so on. You can pick the end time, the break, right here. Your color, you can make a drop down. That way, 
they are going to, it's just going to upload, teams will pick it up. Maybe you always want his to be blue or new hires to be blue. You can do that. Then what they're doing, a little note that goes in that day. And is it shared or is it not shared? So vacation might be a good example for that. Or maybe uh, absence time, anything along those lines. Sick time, stuff you don't want really getting out for whatever HR reasoning you have. You can also add notes for each of these days. And that was along these lines up here. That notes column is going to add a note here. So it might say new hire training, new hire training, new hire training, holiday, something like that. You can do it. So we'll jump on into one that I had been playing around with earlier. Go here, import schedule, upload file, first example, and here it goes. It's doing the work for us. There's a few problems. Okay, so we'll download the file and the fields marked in red have an issue. So we download the file. And you see that it does upload everything that you actually can, uh, you don't have an issue with. So it's only going to be the problems that don't go in there. So you hit your downloads. You open that up. And what it will do is give you a file like this. And it's going to highlight it in red, every single thing that's wrong. So this one's okay. Not there. Because guess what? We have the fourth, but it's blank. So if you have a date here, you're going to have to put a note in there. Or you could just delete the row. Well, you have to enable editing first. I guess that helps. And then that would be um, an error solved. Members, yep, okay, so we have those things there. Errors, yep, and it's even going to give you a little printout uh, summary of everything here. So, day note cannot be left empty once the date has been specified, and that was exactly what that red item was there. So, we'll close that out. And now, say we've made our edits, we've made some other changes. What we're going to do is import schedule, upload file, then we will go to second example. And we will just wait for that circle. Yep, and what do you know? Everything was good. But we also added in some new groups. So we have new hires. There he is, unnamed group. So this could be, maybe we want to change that to employee roster. Click here. Rename group. There we go. Every employee would show up here. You can minimize it, expand it, all that good stuff. So we don't care about the overall roster now. All we want to see, new hires and training. Who is there? You can either do this, control C, control V, and delete that. Then you would share it, make your other changes, things along those lines, or we can fix it in the spreadsheet. It's up to you how you want to handle that. But maybe you have done something where you've got training on all of it. It's going to flash red, show you you've got a double booking. So if you have this closed, you're still going to know about it. That's closed, that's closed. Even if you don't have anything that would show that, it's still up here. One shift conflict. Ooh, where is it? All right. Well, there it is, and there it is. I don't want it there. Delete. Problem solved. Then you'll go share with team. Only the affected members. Save. And there it is. You can do this for one person. You can do it for 20 people. You can do it for up to 10,000 items. So, I mean, geez, what's that? Uh, let's see. 10,000, right? Divided by 365. So, yeah. That's not bad. Not bad. That's a... Yeah, a lot of data. You could have 27 lines for each day and be just fine. You could import it just as fast as that. Well, hopefully this will help you with your teams, help you change a few things around, make sure you can uh, be more efficient in this process, and once it gets streamlined, guess what? Your schedule-keeping days have pretty much gone out the window. But if you liked the video, I appreciate it, and I'd uh, love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.